Like the title says, what we'll be doing is unboxing a piece of camera equipment that I purchased from a third party distributor and talking about the things that you should look out for when unboxing used camera equipment purchased from a third party distributor. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. I'm Renton Vlogs, AKA the Super Mediocre, and this particular camera that we're gonna be unboxing is one of my all time favorite S tier cameras known as the infamous Canon EOS 1DS Mark III. And what's special about this particular camera, in my opinion, is for a digital camera with a full frame sensor and 21.1 megapixels and a dual digit three processor, it is the closest look you get to a film-ish look from a digital camera. And that's because in 2007, this camera came out, or 2008, and there was still this debate between is digital better, is film better, and yada, yada, yada. We all know the conversation. So in my opinion, this camera nailed it where it has a filmish look or a look like film, but it is a digital camera. And that's what I think makes this camera incredibly special. And still, all these years later, 17 years later, this camera holds its own today. You can get one on the used market for between five and $600 from any of the major distributors, third party distributors, and it delivers killer photos that meet a professional standard. It does not shoot videos. This is specific to photography. So without further ado, cause I gotta rush through this. We got 4% left on the battery. Let's unbox this. Um, and that's one of the main things. When you order a third, when you order a camera from a third party, you want to film yourself unboxing it because should there be an issue with the camera, with there being any defects, with it not being what you ordered, you have documentation. Should you need to send it back for a replacement or a refund, you have it squared to go. So as you can see, this has not been opened yet. I can't show you the other side because my personal information's on it, but you didn't know. So let's just get through this quick. Ba -da -ba -bong. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that, nice and packaging. This is from, uh, I ordered this from K-Cam. This is what's in the box, it's got some nice weight to it. Voila. No run, no run, no run. No original box, this had uh, 12,000 actuations on the shutter. This camera's good for about a quarter million. You know, it could go more, could go less. It really depends on your overall usage. But this is one of the best possible cameras. You get double battery charger. These batteries last a few hours. They're fantastic batteries. To get one on the secondhand market, it's like another, I think 50 to 80 bucks for one of those batteries. Oh. God, how I freaking missed ya. So beautiful. Whoops, almost broke it right off the bat. Condition was marked as excellent with minimal use, 12,000 actuations on the shutter. Little wear around here, whatever, for 17 years old, this looks fantastic. Battery is dead. The battery is dead. So I gotta go charge the battery a little bit to see if this works. But in terms of the overall physical condition of this camera, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, hopefully, one of the main issues I've had when ordering um, when ordering from third party distributors is that the batteries are just completely dead and shot and you need a brand new battery. That's really been the only major issue that I've ever had ordering from third party distributors. But in terms of the condition, in terms of how this was listed for transparency, I paid, I think about $580 for this one. I have a lot of projects lined up specifically to use this camera because I think it is so good Still, today, 17 years later, when paired with just about any lens, I ordered the Canon EOS F12L Series 2 USM lens. That'll be here tomorrow. I'll shoot some samples with this. 
but that's the unboxing those are the primary things you ultimately want to look for when ordering from a third party and unboxing so just to recap document yourself unboxing and opening the box so you can see and you have the documentation that what you ordered aligns with what was shown online two for a camera this old it is wise to grab the warranty the extended warranty of two years because should the camera fail um, you can get a refund or a replacement it costs about the equivalent to get it serviced and you can no longer get it serviced from canon due to its age so it makes more sense to just buy the camera again should it fail unless under warranty this camera by its physical appearance looks great to me it aligns with what i ordered um, additionally these are cameras that still hold their own today specific to photography you do not have to shell out and break the bank every time to take great photographs you do not need the most up-to-date high featured camera with all these bells and whistles with regards to technology this is another camera that brings it back to the basic functionality of different types of cameras within photography that produces excellent images that you can use and put yourself in basically any situation and generate some incredible photographs so anyways just wanted to do that just wanted to make this quick vlog and get this out there uh, this is the Canon EOS 1DS Mark III. I've included a link with sample images down below. You can request access and download the photographs and get a better idea of this camera. I'll be doing a much more in-depth, fun review with many more pictures in the coming weeks. So, you know, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Share your thoughts on this camera in the comments down below because I do think it is an interesting camera, a fantastic camera, and... It's been used by enough people. There should be a lot of thoughts around this camera. So let's learn with each other. Let's grow with each other. Canon EOS 1DS Mark III S tier camera. Could not recommend it more. Five to six hundred dollars uh, should be attainable for most people looking to expand their careers in photography or looking to get into photography. Hands down, it's a hawk. Tour. Not like that, you little pervs. But it's a beautiful beautiful camera fantastic uh check it out if you're curious about camera equipment this is what you want to get um ask me whatever questions i've used it a bunch it is one of the best still today 17 years later megapixels are not everything over developed cameras with tens of thousands of hundreds of features that i'll never know or understand or use this doesn't have those, but it does have the basics that you need to produce excellent photographs. Anyways, thank you for stopping by. I got more content on the way. Just wanted to get this out there and because uh, I'm excited for this. Like, I'm shaking, man. This is my favorite DSLR of all time over the 5D Mark II, which is also fantastic. This one's better, but 5D Mark II has video. <sighs> I don't know what else there is to discuss right now. I got to go start shooting and taking some photos with this camera for the next vlog coming up. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm Renton Vlogs, a.k.a. The Super Mediocre. Thank you for stopping by. Please feel free to comment down below with your thoughts around this camera or one like it or a camera that you think has a film look but is digital. That's kind of the topic of this conversation, but all comments where we can learn together are welcome. All right, can you tell my excitement? I'm excited. Anyways, it's Friday, so be safe, have a great weekend, and we'll talk soon. Peace. Smoking Halloween, looking at them palm trees. We smoking Halloween, looking at them palm trees. We smoking Halloween, looking at them palm trees. We smoking Halloween, palm trees, palm trees. Smoking Halloween, looking at them palm trees. Smoke is Halloween, looking at them palm trees. Smoke is Halloween.